Familia, familiar with the Roland Heifetz model. The technical changes are defined as those that can be solved by the knowledge of professionals, while adaptive changes require new learnings. Mr. Heifetz called this a technical change when the problem definition, solution and implementation are clear. For the adaptive changes, it requires a collective wisdom of the employees at all levels. So together they can work on and learn the way towards the solution. What could be an issue here? Huh. The worst is when for an adaptive change, the technical change method is applied. But how to recognize what is actually technical change, what is adaptive, or maybe there are some kind of mixed? Hey, I'm Aldona Blondin, change coach, and building on Mr. Heifetz's concept, I would like to bring my point of view to this topic. Based on my experience, the technical changes in most cases are connected with gaining knowledge about a new solution provided by managers and then getting skills on how to use this new solution in the daily work. In such scenario, many aspects of our work environment like roles and responsibilities, working conditions, colleagues, team structure remain the same or almost the same. The example, the change or implementation of some technological tools, softwares or any other work devices. Being honest, to make a smooth technical change, still some efforts are needed, like training and on time and transparent communication. But as this change doesn't require high individual adaptation, simple change activities should support the stakeholders to embrace the change and anchor the new solution. Out of my learnings and observation, the adaptive change requires more adaptation and higher personal contribution to reach future status quo. It demands not only to learn a new tool or be familiar with a new process, but also to adapt the behaviors and mindsets, changing our routines and inner operating model. The example, a process harmonization with changes in roles and responsibilities. Any organizational change which requires personal change, mindsets and behaviors is most difficult to lead. And for example, training workshops when the people they are not open for change is a loss of money and time. First, it is necessary to communicate the need for change, make people understanding the reasons behind, and then further change activities make sense. And the way to understand it is long and complex, and it cannot be solved by sending one email announcing the change. Once upon a time, I also made wrong assumption by not considering which type of change it was for my project. Obviously, it was an adaptive change, and I prepared a very nice implementation plan for a technical change. The reaction was surprised for me, unexpected and pretty strong resistance because I missed a people's side of the change. So don't lead an adaptive change like it was a technical change. Aldona Blondin, your positive change coach.